What is up and welcome to day three of the Better Mix series. Today we are talking all about harsh frequencies in vocals. Before we get into that, definitely go grab my Ultimate Vocal Presets bundle. This bundle includes over 30 presets that you can use on your own vocals and even includes a free training on how to get them into your computer and also how to manipulate them with your own vocals to get a sound that will sound like it was recorded in a professional recording studio. You can go grab that at www.cellardoorsound.co slash free presets or click the link in the description. So right into it. Today is day three and we are talking about harsh frequencies in vocals. I get so many emails and so many questions about how to EQ vocals. It's kind of the hottest topic uh, when it comes to vocals and mixing and it's one of the things that um, people find hard to hear and understand. My first recommendation when talking about frequencies is you should go grab the app Quiz Tones. It is a amazing app that's available for iPhone and Android, and it's awesome. It basically just plays a bunch of random frequencies, and you have to guess. It kind of turns it into a game, and you guess which frequencies they are. And this will change the way your ears work and start to <laughs> hear frequencies, and it will make much more sense as we go along through these mix series and talk about EQ. So go ahead and grab that. Um, I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but the link to grab it will be in the description. All right, so we have the same vocal we've been working with here the past few videos. Uh, let's play it and listen to what it sounds like. So hard to say it, cause I've been here before. No one surrender up my heart, and swap it for yours. I'm out of touch, out of love. All right, perfect. So the first thing that comes to mind whenever I hear this is it is a little bit harsh. There's a few key words when it comes to EQ, and when you think of these certain words, there's always a specific place that you want to start looking for first uh, when it comes to cutting or boosting certain frequencies. So I'm gonna open up this EQ. So when I hear something and it sounds harsh to me, I immediately am gonna be checking between about 1.5K right here. We'll just move this guy to right here, and about 4k 4k to 5k this is basically this range right here whenever i hear harsh that is immediately where i'm looking so what we're going to do is i'm going to play this vocal and i'm going to pick up this band and try and find that harsh sounding frequency uh, that i'm hearing so the number one thing that we notice here is whenever i boost this up this is a massive cue a massive band that i'm boosting um, so if I'm boosting this, I'm basically boosting 500 to, to 20K, which we don't want. So what I'm going to do is go to this Q here, and I'm going to click and drag up, and it's basically going to tighten this a bit. All right, so this is going to allow us to find that specific frequency that we don't like that is, is harsh that we're hearing. So let's try it. So hard to say it, because I've been in before. No one surrender up my heart. Swap it for yours. Cool. So this is definitely the frequency here. It's a little bit whistly. Um, this takes a lot of practice trying to find a specific frequency that you are hearing. But that Quiz Tones app, I'm telling you, will just help you out so much when trying to do this. Now that we have this frequency here, we're at 3,850 hertz. I am going to actually widen this cue a little bit more this is just to make the cut seem more natural because if you start cutting stuff with a really uh, skinny cue there uh, it starts to sound kind of weird so i'm going to make that a little bit wider and i'm going to stay at about 3 here and then i'm going to play the vocal and just start to bring it down but i don't want to bring it down too much and i'll show you what that sounds like so hard to say it Cause I've been in before No one surrender up my heart and Swap it for yours So hard to say it Cause I've been in before No one surrender up my heart and Swap it for yours Perfect, so what we're really hitting is when she sings that Beginning before That's, I cannot sing if you didn't notice But that is really the harsh frequency that's popping out 
So I'm only cutting at about minus 4.5 dB. Um, it's very easy with these GarageBand EQs to grab this guy and just start cutting a ton here and a ton on this side. Uh, and it's very easy to quickly make your vocal sound really, really bad. Um, and we can hear it too. If I go to 338.5 here, let's let's hear this. So hard to say it. Cause I've been in before. All the energy is gone, everything's and lost. Around. When you're cutting frequencies, even if they're harsh, you still don't want to cut too much because we still need those frequencies, they're just a little bit too loud. So let's go back up to cutting about minus four here. And let's actually turn off this band. Oh, it's this band. Yep, we're gonna turn off this band and we're gonna listen to this line and we're gonna turn it back on to see what we did. So hard to say it. Cause I've been in before. You could hear that like whistly sound, and then let's turn it on. So hard to say it, cause I've been in before. Awesome, and immediately that cleaned up this vocal in that harsh range, and it sounds good, and it's ready for the next step in EQ. All right, so that is day three of the mix series. I hope that was helpful and beneficial for you. If you have any questions, uh, definitely put them in the comments and I will reply to those. Also, don't forget to grab my free Ultimate Vocal Preset Bundle, over 30 presets for EQ, compression, and saturation. If you're confused on this, on EQ, on setting your compression settings, this bundle will help you so much uh, just to understand this a little bit quicker. That way you're not just grabbing random frequencies. Um, you can pull the, up the presets and follow the training video and get a great sounding vocal very, very quickly. Definitely don't forget as well to get that Quiz Tones app. Quiz Tones for Apple or Android also in the description. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for day four in the series. Peace.